Imagine that, boy. I'm gonna shoot behind half court. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my luck. Not behind hash. I mean, not not behind half, but. Tough. Tough. Yeah, this build is gonna be something different, bro. I've kept this build a secret for way too long now, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I personally didn't know this pie chart existed, bro. And once Robo told me about this pie chart, I had to go ahead and make it. All right, this build right here is the greatest point guard build Yadman Gaming has ever created. When it comes to the dominant scoring ability, the dunk tendency, the three point ability, there is none like this build and the speed is good right now I only have a 92 speed at 99 i'll have a 98 speed with playmaking takeover so you know the speed is 99 all right and y'all see because my three ball is already so high i'm y'all know i'm i've been shooting on low three balls barely no badges this build i didn't make that mistake i didn't make that mistake i made this build the most offensive overpowered build i have and I was thinking of an NBA player to compare this build to, dog. And I couldn't think of one, so I'm going to mix two right now. Derrick Rose, Prime D. Rose, and Stephen Curry. What guard doesn't want to have those two combinations right there? That is the perfect guard. The perfect guard. I'm talking about offensive overpowered guard. This is what it is. And still can play defense like a Rajon Rondo. Which is a pretty good defender if you watch any type of basketball. He's a really smart defender. Now, one downfall that I have of the build right now, like I said, is one, I don't have gym right on him, but I did the Gatorade workout and I was able to get the extra bar. But because I'm not a 99 yet, my ball handling, I can speed boost off rip, but if you get a turnover or something, you won't be able to speed boost. At least you have the, but at least you do have the pro dribble moves already. All right. Another thing is the speed. All right. I was cut. Don't get me wrong. Nobody has ever boxed me on this build yet. We're 40 and one on this build. And the one game we, we lost was literally because we were trolling at 3 a.m. We spun the block and th them dudes didn't even score over six points. Y'all hear my son, man. <laughs> Life as a dad never stops. Life as a father, you know, as a husband never stops, man. And it's the greatest. It's, to me, that's the greatest blessing I have. But y'all see the shooting is just different on this build, dog. I'm talking about bro. I shoot literally like a play shot already and my three ball is not even close to what it's going to be. Goodness gracious, bro. I'll tell you one thing. There's not many play shots that's going to have a higher three ball than me on this build when, you know, my teammates running floor and I'm a 99. Literally, I have a 95 three ball. My dunk tendency is amazing. It's literally like a slasher. All right. My ball handling is amazing i can do everything already i'm not even i'm not even a 93 94 95 not and wait till i get to a 99 that's when this build is going to be overpowered for screens and iso y'all are going to see in this game plan uh, gameplay i was using screens and iso because that's what this build is for is to bring back that 2k20 bp nostalgia this is my 6-2 scoring machine new and improved with a pie chart i did not know existed because i was just you know when i make my bills I just skimmed through the pie charts. This pie chart was hiding. Robo had to tell me about it. And my exact words when I saw the pie chart was, Robo, why didn't you tell me about this pie chart? I would have not made another guard build other than the Wukong and the Deep Green Shot Creator. I would not have made another guard build. This build right here, the way I made it, dog, GG's. I'm telling you right now, the only reason I haven't took him to stage yet is because I want to have at least a 97 speed first. Because goal playmaking is tough when you don't have your speed up against some really good locks. And I played some good locks with this build already. Don't get me wrong. And I was still able to get a bucket. But my season allergies are so terrible, dog. I'll be trying to, you know, make videos and stuff and be like, I'm about to pass out or something because I'm about to cough my life away, bro. Let me know if you got seasonal allergies, bro. Anyways, back to what I was saying. It's insane the way that this build is, man. I'm almost a 95 on it. I got like three more bars left. I've been grinding. That's why I really haven't been double uploading like that because I've been grinding this build and another one. Because guess what? Ever since 2K Rose days, those VC prices, bruh, 
we've been in the stage taking some VC, man. So we can make builds. And I can't upgrade them to an 85 off rip because, like I said, I'm not trying to waste money right now, bro. I'm trying to buy a house. Very, very soon. We look at we house on right now. Speaking of house on, man. 10 lights if you want to build. 10 lights if you want to build bangers. Now, wifey told me that I should, you know, kind of tell y'all uh, just a little inspir in inspirational story that happened to us last year. Actually, not last year, but the first year we got out of the military. So when I got out of the military, all, obviously, you know, you go from making that income to nothing, right? And we weren't making much when I got out of the military, right? And we were looking at houses. Now, me, I didn't come from nothing. So to me, pretty much anything in America looks better than where I'm from. In Jamaica, I, yo, dog, dog, I come from Jamaica, Irish pen. You see me? I lived in some good places too. Like, you know, don't get me wrong, but for the most part, the places weren't good. All right. It was the slums. So everything I've seen in America has been way better. But I was going to settle on getting this home, man. For, back at the time, my son was really, really small, a couple months old. Wifey was recovering from her, you know, from her pregnancy. And we were like, you know, we need a place. And I was like, man, I'm about to settle, dog. Like, I was like, man, I know this is better than anything I've had, but I feel like this is not what the Lord has for me. Right. And I was like, dude, I don't want to get this home. And wifey really wanted the home because obviously when you're renting, you're throwing money out the door. If y'all don't know for the kids out there, man. When you're renting, you're throwing big money out the door every month. It's going in thin air. Now, it's not necessarily throwing out the door because you're paying for shelter, but that's not an investment. It's not going any. Nothing's coming back to you. And once you leave, everything that you invested, it stays where you know where you move from. You know, when you buy a house, you can get money back. You know, you can do all kind of things with it. But unfortunately, you know, we've been renting and we wanted a place. And we was like, man, it's a nice place. You know, it's it's, it's it's an ideal dream type place, you know, for somebody that doesn't have nothing, you know, but I was like, man, I just feel like in a year or two, if I really lock in on this YouTube stuff and, you know, lock in and, and you know, figure out some stuff in real life, we can get better than this, even if it's a little bit better. And we just said, you know what? I just told wife, hey, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make up for this. All right. We, we don't need to get this right now. We got something better. All right, even if it's two years down the road, we'll get something better. I'm gonna bust my butt. We're gonna figure some stuff out. And you know, at, the, at first it was kind of tough because it's like I said, we wanted somewhere to be, somewhere we can call home, somewhere I can actually start decorating my office, all that stuff. And we were gonna settle, bro. And this is where I'm going with it. You don't have to believe in God or nothing, but listen to me. I was gonna settle for something that I and ruin my blessing in, in, re, in reality because bro what the lord is about to bless me with i would have never dreamed of all right any that the homes we're looking at right now i would have never dreamed of having never all right never and like i said i'm not talking about no 10 million dollar house bro that's not the type of stuff i like anyways but i would have never dreamed of what you know the, the opportunities that has been presented before us bro and just think about it if i would have been impatient this is what i'm trying to tell y'all if i would have been impatient not listen to god bro and say you know what i want that house right now it's better than anything i've ever had i'm getting it right now instead of knowing that something's telling me there's something better for you if you just remain patient i would have been stuck in a huge 20-year loan stuck in that place because the resale on that place probably would have been tough you know trying to get that property to be sold and i'm just like man all it took was a little patience and in just a year and a half and i say a year and a few months the lord has completely flipped switch on my life because i was willing to be patient and listen to him the same thing with youtube bro you know how much times i thought about quitting youtube why because one i was i was fairly new at being married I was working a 14 hour shift in the military, but something tell me, told me, and I know what it is, it's God told me, look, keep your foot on the pedal, stay humble, keep me first, and I'll make you succeed in what you love to do, what makes you happy. Because 
my prayer wasn't to make millions of dollars off YouTube. My prayer was even if it's for a year, I want to make good money off YouTube, but doing what I love to do because YouTube is tricky. I could be a YouTuber in another niche right now. I could be, like I said, I could try to do YouTube for another thing, not gaming. I wouldn't be happy. I'm doing something that I was going to do any day for free. You got to think about it. We playing video games for free. Might as well make some money out of it, right? Even if it's a hundred dollars a month, right? It's going to help with something. But yeah, I wanted to make sure that, you know, with me getting a degree ain't going to get me the type of money I know I can make off YouTube unless you're talking about being a doctor or lawyer. Because I, I knew people, look at that shady slide. I knew people that were making a lot of money off YouTube already. And getting a degree just wasn't going to cut it. And YouTube might not be permanent. But I was like, hey, for the time being, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go all out for it. All in, all out. And see where it takes me. I stayed prayed up. And now I can say that it was definitely worth it. All right. Definitely worth the grind. I remained patient. I didn't settle. That's what I'm trying to get get y'all to understand, bro. You might think you want something right now, but the Lord is like, He got it behind his back. You ever seen that that picture with the with Jesus and the little girl in front of him, and she's crying because something, you know, I guess she lost something, and he's like trying to um, calm her down because he's like, you don't even see what I got in, in store for you. That could be you right now, bro. You don't know what God has in store for you right now. But you're so sad about the situation at hand right now. You're not even looking past that today is just one day. If tomorrow is, you know, promised for you, you know, only the Lord knows, he might have something better for you, bro. Be patient. Don't jump into things without thinking and praying about it. And like I said, if you're not a Christian, I'm not trying to force my beliefs on you. All right. There's things that I'm telling you right now that can help you. I have friends that are not even Christian. And the things that I, I tell them help me and sometimes things that they say help me out too all right but for those that do have the same beliefs of me i'm telling you bro give it a try all right be patient and for those that don't you can you can still be patient in life big up on the self big up lord almighty already. 10 likes for more videos 10 likes for the build i got y'all coming soon y'all mom gaming